look at that. Look at that. Look at that, dude. Oh my gosh. Wow. That is awesome. That is absolutely awesome. Got him. Good. That's a good one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. There's the start. Oh yeah. Find him. Find him with the thunder cricket. Come back and eat them up. Welded. So we're down on uh, Pickwick in Alabama. And the one thing that, that we saw today is how critical it is to just keep changing the size of a thunder cricket that you're throwing. Small. Got it. Okay. So I'll calm down. Here's what I did right there. I was getting short strikes, okay? I was getting short strikes and I trimmed that little choo chaw down. Oh, he's a little puff belly just a little, little blade minnow. That might have done it. I don't know. Start the concert. Start the concert. Slacklined it. Slacklined it. I was bouncing back and forth between a three-eighths and a half ounce Strike King Thunder Cricket with a blade minnow and I was biting that blade minnow, minnow down to make it more compact. I started out with a half ounce Thunder Cricket. I went to a 3 8 ounce, and we, we trimmed that blade minnow down real, real, real small. We're hooking them now at least. If you rewind to the morning, I was coming through an area that had a lot of fish in it. A lot of fish. Gosh! And I started missing a bunch of fish, okay? Hey. I don't know. I can't. I don't know. Were they snapping at it? Dude? Dude? Nipping at it, grabbing at it. Gosh! Dang it, dude! Are you kidding me? Rip the rod out of my hand. Ah. That's the furthest one out there I've got bit by. Oh, what a bite. It's like a 75 yard, 100 yard stretch that they're sitting in. And the one thing that I saw in this unplug, I got up current of where those fish were and went down current and I started throwing my bladed jig down current like that right there and bringing it up. Let's do this. Let's go down and let me come back up current and bomb this. But that's just too many bites right there. If you're ledge fishing or you're in the Detroit River, bringing your bait up current is a no, I mean, that's, that's 101. But to see how much of a difference that that made 
in this unplug, throwing your bait down current and feathering it up current, absolutely, positively opened my eyes. I can't catch up to him. Stay hooked. It ain't big. Oh, it ain't small. Barely hooked. He's hooked outside the mouth. Look at that. That is a sign of how they're not biting quite yet this morning. Let me show you something. Look, hooked outside of the mouth. Literally, it was hooked like that. Yeah. I always talk about how critical your line is. 20 pound Seaguar Abraze X line and a seven foot four heavy action loose crankbait bladed jig rod. The other thing, very critical, I'm using a loose high speed hyper mag because when those fish would hit that bait, you torque on them as fast as you can. Big it. Oh, how quickly things are changing, guys. Nice one. Absolutely slacklined it. Deal is, we're in a trench. It's just a, just a sag of depression off the main river. And every now and then, every now and then, and I talk about this, directly under our boat. The water dropped here. It's hard to see if you look at the wall. It's hard to see the water. We're as shallow as we are, the water dropped this much. And those fish were on that shallow rise off of the main river. They're not anymore. That water dropping has just, if you look at this, it's just a little belly. One foot, one foot, doop, two and a half to three foot. All right, we got to get tricky with them now. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Third quarter just started. Let's go. Bacon. Not a big one. Be a little bit quiet. We got a lot of boats around us right now. It might be that time of day where it's starting. <sighs> I'm doing everything I can to get tricky with him. That fish bit that bait like he's never seen a bait before. The one thing I can tell you, whenever you're throwing a bladed jig, is I, I always use the term, you want to feather it. You, you absolutely want to hover that bait and pop it out of that grasp. Got it. Ooh. See, that's been the problem. I'm fishing that thunder cricket. I'm fishing that thunder cricket literally like a jig right now on the bottom. Brrr and bringing it up current. Up. Slack lined it. Explain this to me, dude. Bringing it up current. And the biggest thing is one, one, when one slack lines you and hits it, all you gotta do is reel as fast as you can reel and load that rod and keep that rod loaded. Yep. Okay. Why don't we just get the party started, okay? Let's not be scared to make little changes today. Little changes. Go out a little deeper for a minute. Take a time out. The great thing about fishing this way 
it will catch numbers, 100% will catch numbers, and the other thing is it's gonna catch big ones. And look, as, as pressured as the Tennessee River is, as pressured as the Tennessee River is, it absolutely opened my eyes today to when you show them something up in angle with your bait that's very, very unorthodox compared to what you're supposed to do and what you read that you're supposed to do, it could make all the difference in the world because it absolutely saved us today, 100%. Got him. Big one. Big er. Hi there. Where you been all day? Where have you been all day? Oh, how about that one? Maybe it's starting? I don't know. <laughs> Check that out out there. Barges, when you're just not in a hurry. <laughs> That's been today. <laughs> nice one. That's an old chublin. This spring, if there's one thing I can tell you, one thing I can tell you to try, throw your bladed jig down current, bring it up. Not only your bladed jig, but even your your lipless crankbait, stuff like that. Is we've done we've done tons and tons of Thunder Cricket shows. I mean, we did we did an unplugged. We, I, I shot a show with Zaldane, Polinek, uh, Martin Truex. But I've never seen, in my lifetime, I've never seen what I got to see today, throwing it down river, bringing it up, made all the difference in the world. Biggin. Stay hooked. Josh. It might be starting. Stay hooked. Stay hooked. Stay hooked. Stay hooked. Barely hooked. Barely hooked. Barely hooked. Barely hooked. Yes, sir. Okay. Dude, I just did a throat slash. It means nothing. Barely hooked. Nice one. Let's go. Right? <laughs> 